everyone. Nice to see you again. We are in Costa Rica right now, more precise in Puerto Viejo, staying at the Caribbean coast, enjoying the beautiful view of the sea. And we're staying in Yucca Bistron cabins, which are right situated right next to the next to the water. So every morning we get to see this beautiful view of the Caribbean Sea, see the surfers out there. We visited Costa Rica this year in February, in high season, and we had 12 days to explore this beautiful country, to try its foods, see the variety of animals, and get to know the culture. Agua de Sapo, Caribbean style lemon with ginger, lime, and brown sugar. Very refreshing. So we're walking in the night in Puerto Viejo and I have to say, the city has pretty relaxed vibe. Everyone is just enjoying the music. It must be pretty so sweet. And some fresh coconuts. It's also very, very nice and sweet a little bit. Ooh. I'll try the heat wave chocolate with the, I think it was with cayenne pepper or something. I feel the spice, but it's not spicy per se. Does it come now? Mm -hmm. A bit, but very light. Time to try Puro Vida, 100% pure cacao chocolate. Good taste, yeah, pure, pure cacao. The Jaguar Rescue Center is a home for ill, injured, orphaned animals. They have a focus on monkeys, sloths, birds, reptiles, amphibians, or other mammals, and provide veterinary services, care, and comfort to the animals that otherwise would be unable to survive on their own in the rainforest. If the animals are healthy enough, after the rehabilitation, they come back to the nature. We're at this authentic Caribbean restaurant here in Costa Rica called Media's Place and I'm having today some Caribbean style beef with onions and of course rice and beans and patacones. Let's try it. Mm. Just melts in my mouth. So good. Red snapper, the specialty of the Caribbean side of Costa Rica.
Together with our guide Eliseo, we got to learn more about Bribri indigenous culture, Bribri language, natural medicine and plants, ancient activities such as the preparation cacao as a sacred drink and steps of making the chocolate. Welcome to the chocolate home, Wenshke Siru. Wow, it's chocolate. It's very crazy for you, look this. You say, this is chocolate. It's very interesting for you, it's very different than the chocolate. For you, try this. You try the chocolate. The water. And the water is the chocolate. The liquid. Now the chocolate already, yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yes. It's very important you have many practice. Yeah, we finished. You can try here. 100% chocolate. I'm putting a little bit of chocolate here. The book, you try the paste and you try the liver. Betena. Betena. Tortuguero is called the Costa Rican Amazon because within the park there are no roads. You can only access the area by boat or plane. We chose the boat option. And we parked our rental car in La Pavona for 10 USD dollars and embarked on a small public boat which took us through the canals to the village of Tortuguero. Tortuguero National Park is considered the most important nesting site on the Caribbean side for the green turtles. The nesting season begins in July and finishes the last week of October. During these months, hundreds of sea turtles arrive on the park's beaches to lay their eggs. By the time we arrived there, it was not a season, unfortunately. However, we avoided the rain season and got to see other animals in the park. One of the best ways to explore the park is by taking a guided boat tour through its extensive network of canals and rivers. These tours offer excellent opportunities for wildlife viewing, including howler and capuchin monkeys, sloths, caimans, basilisk lizards, various bird species like toucans and herons, and many more. Park, uh, going to see the hanging bridges. The Mystico Hanging Bridges is a private nature park outside La Fortuna. This is one of the most popular things to do in La Fortuna. The trail is three kilometers long and allows tourists to walk on 15 bridges, six of which are hanging above the rainforest. If you really want to spot wildlife, then you should take one of the guided tours or at least come very early when it's quiet in order to avoid crowds. The forest canopy is dense and much of the wildlife in the area is very small so it can be really hard to spot anything. In our opinion, visiting on a cloudy day is going to be the most atmospheric. Of course, there are drawbacks of visiting the area on a cloudy day. As we took a volcano hike up the Arenal to see the top, we couldn't see it because of the dense clouds hanging above. 
since the 1968 eruption of the Arenal, there are still molten rocks of lava situated around the volcano. La Fortuna is full of mineral-rich thermal waters, thanks to the volcano Arenal. This geothermal activity has resulted in hundreds of man-made hot springs and spas around town. At El Choin, you can soak in a completely natural, free-flowing hot river for free. This is a toad. Um, this is poison ones. Okay. So you have the, the poison on the gland over here. Mm -hmm. But just in case they feel somebody doing one or something bad, they want to release like a splash for me. Ah, okay. Straight to my eyes. Buy like a dog, but that's it. After the extreme zipline adventure, we went on and visited the Fortuna waterfalls. To reach those waterfalls, we had to take 530 steps down, but then we enjoyed the beautiful view of the waterfalls and you can also take a swim there if you like to. After visiting the mountains and jungles, we headed towards Pacific coast of Costa Rica and visited Santa Teresa, a small beach town known as Surfer's Paradise and a hipster place. The place is a bit harder to reach than other destinations due to lack of infrastructure and unpaved roads, but it also makes the place more unique, more distant and a perfect getaway. No wonder why the surfers love this place, the waters are warm and the waves are high. After Santa Teresa, we took a car ferry from Naranjo to Punta Arenas and we were heading towards San Jose. On the way to San Jose, we also visited a crocodile bridge uh, situated above the river Tarcolas. The amount of American crocodiles in this river is simply astounding. This river is considered to have the highest population of crocodiles in the world. 